YouTube. So today's a better video than yesterday. It's not about my car blowing up and putting me in debt or anything. This is more about a simple build that people have been asking about and something I've been planning on doing for a while. Uh, I'm going to be going over all the turbo parts that I plan on using on this bottom mount build, keep AC build. Uh, a lot of people want to keep air conditioning and I totally get it because it's terrible without it. So this build keeps air conditioning and it's a pretty reasonable build. Like it doesn't cost a ton of money and you're getting decent parts. It's not a CX racing kit where everything's going to fail in a couple months or fit like crap. Uh, the manifold's not going to crack. The turbo is going to last you a while. It's a pretty solid setup. And I figured I'd make a short video over these parts and put the links in descriptions. I don't have all the parts yet. I have a lot of them. Um, this way people can go ahead and start ordering these parts if they're trying to follow along once I start making these how-to videos and the step-by-step -step series. So hope you guys enjoy. It's not that long of a video, but it should help you guys out a little bit. Here's the kit. It's about 75% of it. I'm still collecting some parts here and there. So a little bit about this kit. I'm calling it a kit, but I'm just saying that because it's all right here. A lot of these parts are individually purchased and all collected to make a complete kit. You can't just go buy this yet. A goal someday is to turn this into a kit that you can just purchase and put on the car. There are multiple branded parts here. This isn't all like a CX racing kit where it's all made in house and junk, to be honest. There, there's very rare amount of kits out there that you can buy that are all just you know made by the same person which would be nice because quality is something that lacks in the cx racing kit with this kit you do have to make your intercooler piping and you do have to make your exhaust uh that's the downside but a lot of people a lot of you guys that are wanting to turbo your e46 don't even know where to start everyone wants a mod list people want links People want to know what to even order. And that's what this video is for. Um, this is a bottom mount kit. I put this kit on an E46 uh, ZHP 330 about a year ago, and it's been awesome. This is exactly how I did it before. The only difference is I went with a different turbo size, and I'll explain that here in a minute. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start digging through some of this. Like I said, it's not all here yet. Uh, I'm still collecting stuff. That's why I haven't started building the car yet also on the channel But if you watched one of my previous videos, I showed the car that I will be using for this bottom mount kit A lot of these parts are from B Racing. I will have the links in the description You can go there and buy most of these parts. Some of them you can message him and he can work out, you know, uh, where you can get the part or he can have the part drop shipped to you also So we'll start with the turbo I guess the, the main thing So this is a pulse air turbo uh, There they've been really good this I have a pulse air turbo on the ZHP that I built it's been on there a year Go ahead and Get it out here Billet wheel, I don't have a stainless housing on this. No one's gonna be able to see it anyways. The lines and stuff, I added, I purchased those separately for the coolant. Billet wheel, ball bearing, this is a GT3576. This is smaller than the turbo that I run on my built car that once ran before. Uh, if you guys watched yesterday's video, not so good. Today is a uh, happier video, we can put it that, than yesterday. Uh, this turbo here, I'll have the link so you guys can see the price. I think it's like 600 and something bucks. They actually last, unlike your $100 eBay turbo. They're somewhat, you know, legit. Once again, middle of the road, trying not to spend a ton of money here because I'm sure most of your E46s didn't cost that much and you're not wanting to dump you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 into it. Uh, some people do like me, but you shouldn't do it. Uh, so this is the turbo. Go ahead and show you guys that. There's some lines on here. I'm gonna have to make a cut on this and add an elbow. Since this is a bottom mount, I'll have to take on an elbow 
so like a 90 degrees so that I can go above the subframe. You do not want to make these under the subframe because it was rip them off. And I'm sure most of you guys have low cars and the 46 is kind of low depending on what suspension you have from factory on it from the get go. So do not go under the subframe. That is the lazy way to do this. And you're going to rip your intercooler or your intercooler piping off. Uh, so I have the 90 in one of these. It's a vibrant 90 right here. This will actually slide over this also, and I can TIG weld it right here if I wanted, but I will have to cut a little bit because I'm gonna to try to uh, angle the 90 just a little bit, and then I'll have another coupling that connects to this that'll kind of go up and over the subframe. I don't have that coupling yet, but I will have it in the description. Hopefully I can get most of the parts in there. I may miss some, I hope not. The whole point of this video is to help the people that are confused. These are just off eBay. They're pre-made AN lines. They come with uh, adapters for barb fittings. I will not be running all AN lines for my cooling. Uh, it's just it's just not necessary. That's what this is for here. This is the Vibrant coolant hose I use. I use this on my red car. I actually even use like the 7 8 Vibrant coolant hose, same stuff for all my heater lines under my manifold. This stuff is awesome. It's affordable and it's not super cheap and everything and you don't have to worry about it blowing up or failing so this is the hose i use i have a link for that and this actually goes in your lower radiator hose you splice it in there it's a 36 millimeter it's the one you want and you just screw on a barb fitting here so this will go to one of these and then the other one will actually go into your block coolant drain uh, I use this 90 coming off the block with a banjo fitting that screws into the head and that will be your complete cooling system. It is not bad. Uh, I've always worried. I always used to worry about how am I supposed to cool my turbo. I always wanted to do a general bearing so I didn't have to worry about it, but it's really not that hard. And then for the drain, this is a really tricky part. Uh, this is just kind of an idea. I done this differently before and I want to improve it on this time around. Um, you got to go really tight coming out of here because you got to go at an angle towards your oil pan. Your drain on a bottom mount is only going to be really a couple inches. It's not that much. And then I will be TIG welding one of these in at an angle on the oil pan. So I'm just going to run a barb and barb because you don't really have enough room to do AN fittings here because the hose is so short. There's no reason to anyways. I, I trust barb fittings almost more than an AN fitting to be honest because you can't, you can't screw it up. Uh, I don't have the hose I'll be using for this yet. I got to get that yet. And I can show you guys, you guys will all see this along the way anyways, like the process. So next, oh, mentioned in one of my CX, racing turbo kit videos recently on that car that I'm working on. Only use these gaskets, don't use the cheap eBay ones where they'll just blow out. So you want a crush, you want a stainless crush gasket for that. We'll go over here and look at, look at the engine mount here. Got this from B Racing Tuning. This is for your bottom mount turbo setup. So your inlet of your turbo will be right in here. And you'll use a four inch to three inch coupling coming out of it. So it comes up into your engine bay, kind of where your windshield washer reservoir would be. And uh, it works out really good. It looks really clean under there. It comes with a bushing already and it sets the engine just like it should be from factory. The manifold I'll be using, oh gosh, it's heavy. It's a cast. Ball turbo bottom mount. Um, they're like six hundred dollars. Might be able to get it cheaper. I know you can get it from B Racing Tuning. I'll have that link in the description. And his price is hard to beat on these, and he has them in stock usually. This will be capped off because the location for your wastegate is not very good on these because you have to make a tube that runs down your firewall then mount your wastegate. You can't just mount it to this. There's not enough room. I will actually be mounting my wastegate on my turbo exhaust housing. And that's one thing I don't have to show either. I don't have my wastegate or the, the flange yet. 
but I figured I'd just make a video over everything I have right now because people are wanting to know what they need to order. This is a Rally Road bottom mount oil feed for this turbo. Um, there's a difference between the top and bottom mount feeds. The bottom mount is longer because obviously you're going more of a distance. So make sure you get the right one. And then of course, the Pemus Math. This is just the HPX. There's no re there's no need for an HPX E on this build. I'm just you know shooting for. I'd like to make 400, you know, 400, 450 horsepower on a stock B25, and that is the reason I have a smaller turbo over there is because I don't want it to be laggy. Uh, my car was already kind of laggy because it has such a big turbo, but I had to because you know you max these out kind of easily if you're going for crazy goals. Uh, this is from Rally Road also. This is the Vanos fitting. This goes on the, this goes under your intake manifold where your Vanos line would hook up so you can still use your line. And then it has an AN fitting here. So it also feeds your turbo. So it works with the Rally Road bottom mount feed. These are Bosch 100 pound injectors, like 1,150 cc injectors. These are the same injectors that I use on my red car. They're kind of overkill, but they're very nice and they're very affordable. You can also buy these from bracing.com. I will hopefully have the link in the description to most of this. Move along here. This intercooler. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna use it. Don't buy it. Do not buy this intercooler. I don't know. I might just put the size dimensions that you need in the description. I am not going to recommend this intercooler to anyone because this company sucks. They suck. I don't care if people are watching this video that run their products and are like, oh my gosh, they did great on my product. No, they suck. They have terrible customer service. You're screwed if you buy it. Um, they're not gonna contact, you cannot contact them. You, they will not email you back. They're just like off the face of the planet. Why do they say they suck? Well, what kind of weld is this? Like these welds. This is trash. This is so trash. Um, I'm sure they'll seal or whatever. Since this build's a bottom mount and it's supposed to be kind of more of a sleeper build, if you guys seen the video of the car, it's not a great looking car. So it's supposed to just be kind of a surprise, you know, a sleeper. Um, so no one's gonna see this. That's the only reason I still have it. Um, but I did try to return it, but they, they will not communicate back to you at all. And for the fuel pump, I don't have it over here with all this stuff. I do have one already. It's a Hell, it's a Walbro Hellcat 450. And I will be running stock lines, stock fuel, reg, fuel regulator, and stock fuel filter. Uh, I may just get a new one and stuff to freshen it all up. But for my power goal, there's really no reason um, to change any of that. Didn't mention, but this is a V-band three inch exhaust housing. So that's pretty cool because this turbo is kind of small, but it still uses a three inch exhaust housing. So I can make a three inch downpipe and it's a V-band. I'd like to see X racing turbo where you have your four flange bolts and it's a pain in the butt. It's a nightmare to get to the bottom one if you're removing your downpipe. So I think that's about everything I have today. This is kind of a short video, but it's just to update you guys on the series um that i'm working on you guys know about it i've wanted to do this for a long time and if people are wanting to go ahead and buy parts and start collecting parts also and follow along on the step-by-step -step turbo series for the bottom mount this keeps air conditioning um which ac is nice i never realized how nice it was until i did my turbo kit on my red car and i just sweat when i drive it and for intercooler piping uh, just buy one of the universal kits off Amazon with all the pipes in them. You can cut them up and take them to how you want them, or they come with so many couplings and clamps, you can easily just build it yourself if people aren't trying to TIG weld that much. And I will be attempting to TIG weld. I suck at it, but that's part of this process. Um, we do things real around here on this channel. No fake stuff. Uh, it's just the real life of a car guy. I ain't that good at welding, so I'm gonna go ahead and admit it. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm glad we had a better video today than yesterday. Uh, and I will try to get everything in the description.